Oh, right, good morning my friends. So I'm in John O'Groats and we're on the first leg of the journey. Jeff's just checking out the hotel. Um, we're going to head down to Kendall today, uh, which is quite a bit of a, it's a bit of a journey. We're going to go through it in a bit with Jeff before we leave. Have a quick look around John O'Groats. We're going to go uh, hell for leather within the speed limits, of course, and it's going to be the first one to get to Kendall. Now, uh, we'll go through the mileage, etc. in a moment, as I say with Jeff. I'm going to get charged up here because there is a grid serve charging point here at John O'Groats. Only thing is, the car, it's a race, but it's also who can get there the cheapest as well. Now, and the last video that you saw, uh, I used um, uh, I used Ionity, which is uh, subsidised by Porsche, so it was cheap for me to use that. Grid serve, on the other hand, uh, is rather expensive, so I'm at a, a disadvantage to start with on this one. But along the way, I'll try and uh, make it up. I'm also um, pretty positive that I can get there first. However, I am going to have to charge, but he is also going to have to stop for a comfort break. So this one is going to be interesting. And then from Kendall, uh, in the next video, we're going to head down to Land's End, which is going to be an interesting one. And it's every man for himself on each journey. If you're new to the channel, by the way, please do hit the subscribe button. It is free and it just pushes content out to other people who may be interested in this. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Preparing to charge. Oh, dual charging is available. 69p per kilowatt. Now, the only issue with this charger is with GridServe, as I've said before, I don't actually know the cost till later. You have to log on, but it takes a couple of days to actually register how much you've spent on here. It doesn't tell you the actual total cost pretty much like on a petrol pump etc so uh, that's a bit awkward because you don't know what you're spending I guess you can work it out at the end by knowing how many kilowatts you've got anyway it is 34 percent charged at the moment it's quarter to uh, 10 in the morning so uh, hopefully and we get in what are we getting out of it at the moment well it's going pretty slow, but it, it speeds up. Anyway, uh, the batteries are a bit cold at the moment. I haven't preheated it. H however, we're going to get on the road around about half past 10. We're going to go and see Jeff first and have a little look around John Grove. So come on, onwards, my friends. Continuity error. I've got my coat on and I don't care. It's fresh. This, this is going to blow the cobwebs away. Eight hundred and seventy-four miles. Now then, the big question is: Can an all-electric car get to Land's End quicker and cheaper than a diesel that's been bought off of Facebook Marketplace for less than three thousand pounds? Well, let's find out because this time I'm in the corner of the Evangelists and I'm going to win. I think anyway. Or what do you reckon? Pop it in the comment section before you get to the end. Come on, onwards. Right, I've got to tell you, I hope it's a bit warmer down at uh, Land's End. I'll tell you what though, Land's End have done this before, uh, but not against a diesel car. And they got to Land's End. John O'Groats, you can take your picture for free next to the signpost. Land's End, they charge you for it. Now that is a little bit of a rip-off, isn't it? Come on, Land's End. Take note from the people up north. Right, um, we're going to meet Jeff by his cars. We're going to see his diesel car that he's got, that he's bought off Facebook Marketplace. And then it's every man for himself down to Kendall which is our first stop overnight so uh, as I say make sure you hit that subscribe button and push it out to YouTube because we want to prove that electric cars are the future don't we 
I'm on Team Evangelist. Team Evangelist all the way this time. Come on, who'd have thought it? On with my friends. Well, well, well. Look who it is. I can't believe it. So, what have you got there? Hang on, let me just take my foot off the clutch. Should turn off. Um, I've got a BMW 320 diesel with a six-speed manual gearbox. And how much was it? £2,650. Off Facebook Marketplace? Two nights ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, out of uh, uh, percentage-wise, how many percent are you confident that you can win a £120,000 all-electric Porsche Taycan to Land's End? Well, Kendall first stop. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty confident, to be fair. Yeah. Where is your £120,000 Porsche Taycan? It's just charging up at the moment. Oh, well, good, because I saw the charging points and they don't look like they're on. I thought, no way, is he having problems? Oh, no, no, it's charging. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, 69 right. p per kilowatt or something. Is that good or bad? I don't no, know. No, that's really expensive. Is it? Yeah. So your first fill and you're already on the back foot. Yeah, but, I, I, but, I, but I'm, I'm confident from here on in because I'm going to use cheaper ones. I've done a lot of preparation for this trip okay. on, on the car. Um, I fitted this air freshener. That was expensive, £4.99. And yesterday I bought some, um, those are my wife's, I bought some driving slippers. Oh, that, nice. that genuinely is the extent of the prep that I've done for this journey. I do have some spare bulbs in the back as well in case they blow. Uh, a little bit of oil and a little bit of coolant, but I'm not expecting to use any of it. Right, coffee first? Yeah. Right, uh, you park up, you don't need to fill up or anything? No, I, I've got, um, hang on, I'll tell you. Um, I have got in the tank, um, give it a minute, 699 miles. So you should just, you may have to fill up once. I think one small fill up, yeah. Yeah, one small fill up. Yeah. Um, but now I've done well with my last minute Facebook Marketplace buy, which will be explained on my channel. This is a proper car. Excellent, let's go and get a coffee. I'm excited. Come on. I'm excited. Park it up. Where do I park? Right, so, um, Jess just said... A, a man with a diesel car has helped a man with an electric car. He's just said there's some ionity chargers here. And the uh, grid server are really expensive and they're slow. Now, if these are switched on and they are ionity, I shall be unplugging and moving because we need to be cheap. Now, where is it? What's are they, that? I don't think, no, they're not ionity. There's well, something. There's something, let's go and have a look what they are. They don't look like Ionity though, so uh, that's a shame because Ionity would have been cheap. Oh, but grid serves expensive, very expensive, and slow. Charging slow. Not like they might be on actually. No. No. Not on yet by the looks of it. There's a 24 7 helpline, why don't you phone us? It's an emergency. We need to. Charge. We need these on. Hey, look! It's even still got the little peely thing on. Look. Oh, come on. So it's new. Not charged yet. Maybe they need to fuel up the diesel generator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, do, do you know there's something satisfying about peeling that off? Do you want to yeah. have a go? No, there's no point. There's no I point. I can't believe that. Um, I can't believe we haven't even started yet. We haven't started. Why are they not on? How long is it going to take your car to charge on its current charger? Probably about an hour. That's okay, I'm alright with that. Right, we'll have a coffee. We'll have a coffee, yeah. Coffee and a chat. Yeah, we'll do that. Can you say onwards, my friends? Onwards, my friends! <laughs> to the coffee shop, which is there! Right, my friends, so, uh, first leg of the journey, we're going to go from here, which is Johnny Groves, all the way down to Kendall. How many miles is that, Jeff? Uh, 474, I think. 474 miles. Man with the figures. You can ask me about crispy batter and the uh, fish and chips and stuff. But well, I did wonder if you were going to get tempted. <laughs> <laughs> Quick question for you, actually. Salt or vinegar first on fish? I think I've asked you this before. I go salt first and then vinegar. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Anyway, down to the uh, matter at hand. So we're doing uh, John, uh, John Groves to Land's End. Uh, diesel car against... Uh, your car is diesel yep. and it's uh, how many years old? Uh, it's a 2008, so that makes it 14 years old. 
14 years old, and it cost you... 2,650 pounds two nights ago. Off Facebook Marketplace. Yes. My girlfriend would have been proud. She loves Facebook Marketplace. Uh, against a £120,000 yeah. Porsche Taycan all-electric car. Yeah. Now, my range is 210 miles uh, on a full charge, and it's still charging. That's why we're drinking coffee. You get used to coffee. I, I got the coffee because I'm used to coffee because that's what electric car drivers do, drink lots of coffee. Um, again, it's your car that's got what range? Well, this morning it was saying 699 miles left in the tank, but that will change as I drive. I'd be amazed if I got less than 700 miles out of that tank. So I can do a pretty substantial chunk of the journey um, on that one tank of fuel. Now, my plan is to not stop at crap service stations. I'm only stopping at the nice ones. Ideally, I would like to get all the way to Gloucester services. Yeah. Maybe put diesel in there. I know it's expensive at service station and they have that as my one fill. Yeah, it's a lovely service station, Matt. I only want to stop at the good ones. It's the farm shop one, isn't it? Yes, it There's is. There's one in Cumbria as well, on the M6. That's right, yeah, but I won't need fuel at that point. I might need charge, but if, if I'm going down the M6, I don't know if it's going to take me that way. Uh, there is Porsche that I can charge at, so that's good. And I can oh. have free coffee and biscuits. And nice. Um, so so you've, yeah. you've planned your trip, like the electric vehicle people say. Planned my journey. And for all the evangelists out there, and I've already said on your channel, by the way, if you're not subscribed to Jeff, head over, uh, because if you are subscribed to me for the electric cars, you'll see lots of car stuff on Jeff Buyer's cars. I'll put his link in the description and at the end, by the way. Uh, and you can track his journey as well, because he's filming his journey, and I'm filming mine. So you can see a relatively smooth journey compared to a hopefully not too stressful journey i'm not going to make it dr dramatic you know i'm just going to go for well, it well you you're on it you've, you you've planned it you know where your charges are you like you said you know the lake district yeah so um fingers crossed the, the only thing that will hold you up would be problems at charges you know which you've seen on my previous video yeah and they were a bit of a nightmare but uh... but but as we said on the maths if in theory you drove well and got lucky with every charger on both time and price, it would be a lot closer than a lot of people think. Um, you know, there is, there is a real competition here. I'm in it to win it. And even if I don't win it, I, I'm gonna try my damnedest to do as possibly well as I can. Uh, so I am on Team Evangelist side on this one. Well, the value, on, the value of your car depends on it. I mean, if, if this works out well for you, the figures on electric cars will be going up you know? yeah so i'm on i am on because a lot of people said you're gonna fail it on purpose i'm not i assure you you saw me yesterday i was a bit stressed out because i was on it and i i just i was i never stopped part, you, part to eat pot noodle well, well to be honest although you had problems with charging yesterday the, the disappointment um you, you were genuinely disappointed because you were trying. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I could tell in your person that you, you are taking this very, very seriously, um, which concerns me a little bit. I'm mildly concerned, not not massively concerned, but yeah, we, sh we shall see. I know you're good at driving long distances, so. Um. Yeah. Uh, what got me though? Question, question. <laughs> question. Question. And question for you as well. So on the Ionity ones that you saw in my last video, uh, we're, four cars were charging, right? That's a serious question. There was an issue with the grid. There was not enough power to the grid because there was too too many, I don't know why, because I've charged there before and it was fine. Must have been not enough power on that day. So one of us had to unplug to get the other ones charging. Where does that leave the future of EV charging infrastructure if you can't charge four cars and you've got the whole yeah. of the UK trying to charge? We need more solar panels. I mean, if you look at the sky right now. Well, it's grey. That's not going to work, is it? No. So there's major questions to be asked there about infrastructure. Um, but the fact that you were there with four other EV cars and all having to say, oh, I'm very sorry, so I'll unplug mine so yours can charge. If there was a couple of, you know, our sole EV drivers there, you could have been there for ages. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was very courteous. The guy not to listen to your cars getting no charges. I know it just popped up on here. Do you find that there is a bit of a, like a camaraderie amongst EV people? I know and there has been reports of there you know, being fights at charging stations, but I haven't seen anything like that. They do seem to almost look after each other from what I see. Is that what you see? I, I got frustrated yesterday because there was an MG unplugging and plugging his car and then getting in and out. And I was getting frustrated because I just, be, I wanted to be on my way. Yeah. Because I was against you 
put something like a dry run. Yeah. So I wanted to be on my way, and that withheld me and it held me up. 20 minutes and then the second charge held me up almost an hour because of the low charging rate so all in all probably two to three hours wasted on charging yeah um if they can increase the power on the if they can better the infrastructure then they'd be in with more of a chance and i yeah. just think it's um there's a guy i met in in holland on one of the charges didn't want to be on the camera he's going to change back to petrol but he said it, their infrastructure far supersedes ours yeah so it may well be that it's a uk thing and in europe they're doing much better and it is easier to live with these cars yeah it's just you know if the power to the grid and there isn't enough power to the grid it also gives you the question of if there's not enough power to the grid they they can then say right you can't charge your car in this area and turn it off where does that leave you because you know, it will have to come down to that if there's not enough power in the grid and and the grid at the moment uh, national grid say yeah there is that, they've questioned them yeah there is but there clearly isn't yeah because we've seen that and also at leicester services where they they never work at leicester services because they can't get they can't power them wow so where does it leave us it's we're going to find out all the national grid saying yeah there is enough power and we'll be fine but how do they know that what would their answer be if you work for the national grid what's your answer why weren't there my to charges why wasn't there enough power to the Marionity chargers? And, and, and again, you go back to, well, the EV thing is going to work for some people. If you can charge at home, if you don't do many miles, if you stay mostly local, perfect car. Don't get me wrong. A little electric car that you can bimble around in, perfect. But if you're a fleet driver that needs to cover long distances, not going to work. No, it's not. Anyway, we've got mileage to cover. I'm at 100% now, and I'm worried now because I'm thinking if there's somebody waiting, now they're going to get an annoyed at me because there's only one charge point. So, let's go. Onwards, my friend. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm beginning to wish now I'd took my coat off, but I've got visions of uh, John Candy in uh, planes, trains and automobiles where he tries to take it off while he's driving and he gets his arm stuck. <laughs> And then he tries to get the other one and he gets that arm stuck so he starts steering it with his knees and stuff. So uh, I shall leave it on and take it off when I charge up. That was a great movie by the way. Planes, Trains and Automobiles. Wow, excellent movie. Right, come on. 20 mile an hour speed limit we're coming into. That's just ridiculous. It's like being in Wales. As JC would say, I'm ahead already. Ha <laughs> ha! A win for the EV community. Come on! Easily past that van. So, he's right behind me at the moment, so we need to get a move on. Uh, we've got speed cameras, so we've got to stick to the speed limit. Um, within the law, but he, he is right behind me. But at the moment, I'm in the lead. I've just got to stay in the lead. You see, if I'd got more range, I'd be in with more of a chance. I know, should have got a long range Tesla, but I haven't. I've got the Taycan, it's a great car. It's a great handling car and uh, I'm going to do my best, my friends. So he's now a car behind again. This is probably where I'm going to try and gain the lead because he's behind a van stuck behind a van this thing just accelerates like lightning like a rocket um oh he's overtook it he's just, just overtook it he might be coming back up again this is gonna be i'm doing my best i am doing my very best evangelists i'm on listen i'm on your team when i say i'm on your team this time i'm on your team i'm on your side i'm playing for your team so come on we can do this 87 87% of range, 178 miles uh, of range and 87% of battery, concentrating on my driving, 60 mile an hour speed limit. Okay, so we can do this. We, I, I'm going with the thing, we can do this. Aim for the moon and even if you miss, you land amongst the stars as they say. This thing corners absolutely fantastically. This is where the Taycan wins over a Tesla because this thing handles like a Porsche. Right, so <laughs> he's right behind me and I have now got a nosebleed, believe it or not. I am not pulling over, but my nose is literally blood pouring out of my nose. I don't know why. There we go. Probably the altitude levels up here in Scotland. Got to keep going. There we go. Plug it and let's plug on. <laughs> Couldn't write this. Well, I can see you're right on my tail. I am. I'll tell you what, you're not hanging around. I'm not hanging around. I'm in this to win it and I need a wee and I'm thinking, no, hold on to it or just wet yourself because I'm on this. I said I'm in it for the evangelists and I'm in it for the evangelists. I'm in it to win it. I, I, I respect to you. You are, you are flying. Um, tell you what, if I wasn't behind, you're sort of setting the pace. 
if I wasn't behind you and following you, I think I'd be going quite a bit slower. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I tell you what. Did you see that? I mean, you're on camera at the moment. Did you see this thing accelerate earlier on? I think I've lost you. I may have lost you going. That is a quick car. It's insanely quick. It handles well. It's insanely quick. I reckon. One of my things when I do is, you see, is I'll often overtake someone just because I don't like the look of their car. But if I get bored of looking at it, I'm not, I'm not bored of looking at it. It's a nice thing to be behind. It's a beautiful car uh, to just look at, but it handles superbly. So I reckon I'm in with a, a close, if, even if I don't win, I'm in with a close chance. So uh, I'm on it. Yeah, I'm losing you. enjoying yourself. I'm losing you. So uh, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, I'm on the, and I'm on a hill now, so I may, when you on this hill, here we go. Wow, it's throwing it down. I've also got a nosebleed as well. I do. Yeah, so I've had to, I had to plug my nose. Wow, we got some weather now. We've got some weather. Right, onwards. Now we've got some pylons there and little power lines, as you call them, I think, in the states. Uh, it's a shame I can't just siphon some of the electricity from there straight into my car so that I don't have to, uh, whoa, the weather, so that I don't have to pull over and charge. 153 miles of range, 76% of battery, 371 miles to go, and it's five past 12. Um, and uh, the weather is, uh, the weather's terrible actually. Hopefully it gets better the further south that we go. Jeff's still in my uh, rear view mirror. He's getting smaller though, which is a good thing. See me overtake that coach back there by any chance? Well, I just tried to phone you to ask if your pants were okay. Uh, I have to say, a little bit of poo came out there, Jeff. Oh, you're behind me again. A little bit of poo came out. I, I overtook within the speed limit. The road must have been a little bit wet and the power to the back end of this car, because it's not the four wheel drive version, it, I don't know what it looked from outside, but it seemed to skid, a, it seemed to like back end, I lost the back end a bit. Yeah, I watched it happen, and I thought, bloody hell, that must have been a moment. I think you hit one of the white lines in the centre. Yeah. And, uh, your, your car went, it was only for a split second, but your car went very slightly sideways. Yes, and my uh, my pa my pants may be a little bit browner than they were before, but I brought it back. Well, I did, yeah, I, I, did, I did think that. I thought, well, I bet you didn't enjoy that moment. <laughs> no. That was not a nice moment. It was the white lines because they're slippy. Uh, so yes, and I was well within the speed. I, 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 I was filming, so I'll, I'll have that on camera. How well it come out, we'll have to see, but I, I should have it on camera. Yes. Uh, <laughs> my <laughs> I may need to wash my underwear when I get back. I won't, I might stay. Go on. I might stay behind the coach next time. That was funny. Are you going to stop for a wee? I'm going to stop for a wee. Oh, do you know what? Brilliant. Yeah. Where are we going to stop? In fact, one second. Are we going to? St um, do you know what? I was going to say, uh, I could play this clever. Let's stop for. Let me take you for a coffee, Jeff. What do you reckon? I reckon I'm going to stop for a wee in a lay-by, Lee. Stop for a wee in a lay-by. Okay. Well, on that bombshell, my friends. Onwards. <laughs> Right, milk float off. Uh, gonna go for a wee. There is a charging point here, actually. I could have uh, tempted him in for a coffee and then gone for a charge, but uh, we've got enough at the moment, so onwards. Plan B, because the toilets are closed, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna let Jeff park where I am, because there's no parking spaces, uh, and I'm gonna go and charge up whilst 
he puts his car in my space and tempt him to a coffee or some fish and chips or something. So that might work. Gives me a little bit of an advantage. I've got to play the game here and play it clever. So if the car, otherwise, right there we go. Lane. Pull back in here. Right onto A9 okay, Westminster. yeah, we don't need to do that. Okay, there we go. Right, so let's pull in here. I think there might turn be. Right. Then turn something. left onto A9 oh, I have just pulled into the space here. Here we go, let's pull in. Is he charging up there? Oh, oh, there's another one there, so I'll go there. Right, let's go into this parking space there. And charge up, here we go. Right, see, I'm playing the game, I'm playing it clever. Right, there we go, built float off. Right, hopefully, is that charging? I've got to go for a wee. It's a charging system not connected, it is connected. Come on, connect. Right, it says charging system not connected. It's not working, just add a wee and gone. So forget this one, that's not working. Charge point Scotland, charge place Scotland. What's the matter with your chargers? Let's just get back in and get on the road. Every man for himself. He's, I oh, can't believe him. Come on, onwards. Right, let's get out of here. So, I mean car coming in, come on. Right, should never really. Which way out is it? Right, I'm going. I need to make up time. You're gonna to have to wait, mate. There we go. Right, come on, onwards. Let's try and catch him up. He's, uh, I can't believe it. There we go. Let's get out of here. Turn I can't right. believe then turn that. Right. <laughs> Literally. I says, oh, have, a, have some fish and chips right. with me and a coffee. Then turn and he's right. like, no, every man for himself. Rosslyn and Street. literally just had a week shot back in his car right Street. charge place scotland that's two charges now that i've used of theirs that hasn't worked absolute nightmare this is the problem with with the chargers you think they work and they look like they're working but when you plug them in uh, i'm not being caught behind that lorry um you plug them in and then they don't actually work right i need to catch him up so come on onwards And my nose is bleeding like mad. I don't know why. I, I have no idea. Um, I need to overtake this lorry. Ah, ah, I can't at the moment. My nose is just streaming. Right, so <laughs> we're a little bit behind now because uh, Jeff did the everyman for himself. Um, couldn't tempt him into a coffee or some fish and chips. We've got 66% of battery, 137 miles of range. It's 12.47 uh, and five hours and 59 minutes to our destination but that's gonna obviously be longer for me because i've got to charge up so uh, there we go anyway onwards my friends Now, I'm going past, uh, past Skiatch services where I charged up uh, on the way up and had my pot noodle. But I'm not going to stop there because I've got 54% of battery left, 113 miles of range. I can see there's another high powered charger down near Inverness. Um, so I'm pretty sure I will be all right. So uh, 315 miles to go it's saying three minutes past seven arrival obviously got to charge up so it's probably going to be about 8 8 30. i'm hoping that jeff has stopped for a comfort break uh, and had a bit of a rest and just not gone for it uh, because if he doesn't stop he's going to win obviously because he doesn't have to stop at all he might just have to do a little splash and dash um but that's it really so uh but i'm I'm not going to stop until I've got 
down on the actual voltage uh, so that on the percentage so that it charges quicker so I can gain time so uh, I told you I'm in it to win it Right, so the ionity chargers that I want to use in Perth are 119 miles away. And if I turn my air conditioning off, then I should get 120 miles. So I'm pushing it to one mile left of range to get to the ionity chargers, which are cheaper and also faster. So I'm thinking whether to risk it or not, which could be risky because it's, it's a little bit dangerous getting it down to 1% or just do a bit of a, a bit of a quick charge and then head down to Perth and use the ionity ones, which are cheaper, subsidized by Porsche uh, and also faster. So I may do that rather, and it's going to take a little bit more time. I could risk it. I'm tempted to risk it, but I'll just get a little bit closer and just see how we go. It's, that is real range anxiety if you get down to one mile left of range. Anyway, come on, let's see how it goes. Could be interesting. Onwards, my friends. So just coming into Inverness now, still got the air conditioning off so I can get maximum range out of my car. 47%, 111 miles, uh, 299 miles to go to the destination, 110 miles to go to get to the ionity chargers. Ooh. Do I charge it Inverness? No, I'm gonna keep going. I'm going to keep going and I'm going to drive. I'm going to put, put it on range mode in a bit, which will turn the passenger screen off. It'll turn, basically, it'll just switch everything onto low power. You probably won't be able to go past 60 miles an hour, but a lot of the roads anyway, you can't go past 60 anyway. So I'll do that, drop it into low, into low power. One second, let me get out of here. Into low power mode, into range mode. And that should, get us there but we will see it's going to be a close call right uh come on go oh, hang on a minute Blurry. here we go letting him out and he won't go right okay right so let's drop this now into range it says 114 why has it gone down to it's actually gone down it's gone from 116 to 114 that can't be right. I put it in range mode, maximum range. But if I put it back on normal, so 110 on normal. Oh, 114 on range. So we're getting more on range, right? Let's get it. Let's keep it on range, and then let's see how we go. See if I can make it to the ionity chargers. The other thing is with the ionity chargers as well, if I get there, I know that they were working yesterday, but if I get there and they're not, and you've only got 1% left, then you're not leaving any room for error. So uh, let's see how we go. Right, so I've got it now on maximum range uh, and I've now got 100 miles of range and it's 101 miles to ionity chargers and I'm stuck at 60 miles an hour 
for the range so I might as well put it back in normal mode and try and put a little bit of charge in it along the way I know that you have to sort of like get off this route now I've done this before and I know there is a charger at some point along the way so if I can just put a little bit in and top it up uh, one of them was actually free last time I went so hopefully it's free again and then I can get to the Ionity charger which is faster so come on onwards change that back to normal uh, which has now given me 95 miles and that's without the air conditioning on if I put the air conditioning on sorry about the light there if I put the air conditioning on 89 miles so it really has uh, dropped the range with having the climate control back on uh, and back in normal mode so uh, yeah we're gonna have to stop along the way somewhere Right, so quick update for you. It's 2.26 p.m., 29% of battery left, 67 miles of range. Uh, to get to the Ionity charger in Perth uh, is 72 miles. So I'm not gonna make it. Uh, so what I'm gonna try and do is, there is like uh, there's little villages at the side of this uh, dual carriageway here. I've been to one before. I'm going to pull off there, even if it is a slow charger, I can just put enough in to get me to the Ionity charger. Uh, and some of the Charge Place Scotland chargers are actually free, so um, hopefully it's a free one. Uh, let's just get a little bit of charge in, and then we can get to Ionity, which is a faster charger, and then we can be on our way, because time is of the essence here. Uh, Jeff's already well ahead now, I would have guessed, unless he stopped off for a comfort break um you've got to have a break along the way otherwise it's tiring and it's dangerous so got to have a little break along the way so let's get that charged and then get to ionity uh it's going to be about seven or eight o'clock again until we get to our destination in kendall in the lake district so uh, come on onwards haven't been to this one before this is Kingussie Kingussie uh, and it's a 50 kilowatt charger uh, but let's get some charge in it uh, as I say and then let's get to Ionity if we can just get enough then that'll be uh, it's not a splash and dash is it what do you call it for a uh, for electric what could you call it for electric uh, volt and bolt or something like that maybe give it a volt and bolt there you go, take that one and use it. Right, where is it? Right, okay, so milk float off. Uh, it's 2.34, 63 miles of range. We've got uh, Charge Place Scotland here. Uh, we've got, uh, what have we got on here? 63 miles of range. So, uh, let's get it charged up. It's not telling me what the battery is. Hang on, it's not what the battery is there. Come on, what's this doing? I just want to see my battery. Right, tell you what, I'll turn that off. Hold that, milk float off, uh, battery on there. 27%, 63 miles of range, and it's 2.35, so, and I need the loo. So let's get the loo, get it charged, and get on our way.
What is going on? Can't get the charger out. Right, it's locked in, so I need my phone to unlock it first. Right, back in a minute. I've not seen it being locked in before, but everything's closed for vandalism around here, so it's obviously a little bit bad. Charge Place Scotland. Maximum stay 45 minutes, that's good, isn't it? Down here. Um, there's no number for it. Where's the number? There's no number on this thing. What is going on here? Find a charger. No number on this. What is going on? Oh, here there is, found it. 53258. Five, we go 53258. Five, Do that. Start charge. Please plug in your vehicle. That should have unlocked it now. Yes. Hooray. Never seen that before. Right, give me a minute. Plug it in. Go over here like that. And I'll tell you how much it is per... Uh, how much? One second. 30p per kilowatt, but... We've only got 45 minutes, no return within 30 minutes. Right, okay, so 240. Doesn't fill me with confidence around here. Everything's closed because of vandalism and a load of kids hanging around as well. Uh, and I need a wee, so I'm gonna have to go and find a toilet. Right, I'll see you in a minute. Right, slight issue. Uh, I've got myself a coffee there. Had a wee. Catch 22, really, isn't it? Because uh, you have to buy a coffee to go and use the toilet for customers only. But I guess it'll wake me up. Uh, anyway, it just had a message on my phone and it now says charging error. So my car is actually uh, errored charging at the moment. So I've got to go back uh, and find out what it's all about. If it's errored charging, you have to try and again. But then the issue is, I've only got 45 minutes in the car park. I've wasted 15 minutes of that, uh, having a wee and having some coffee. So, uh, unbelievable. That's charge place at the moment. That's two that I've been on now, and it's come up with a network error. This is a bit annoying. All right, come on, onwards. Right, so, my phone says it's, there's a charging error, but the car says different. But I'm only getting 36.9 kilowatts, so not doing great on that. So, um, I think what I'll do is, what time is it? It's now 2.56 p.m., so I shall give it another... 20 minutes, get a little bit of charge in it, and then get to Ionity. I think that's the best bet. Um, so anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Just, just look at the shape of that crisp. Amazing, isn't it? It's got, just look how it goes. How the potato goes into that fryer and comes out that shape. Hmm. Hmm. When you're charging, 
I have to say, the good thing about it is, you do learn to appreciate the little things in life. Mm. Raw cocktail as well. Amazing. Best flavour ever. In fact, in some countries, because green is um, salt and vinegar in the UK, and blue is cheese and onion, whereas abroad, I think that changes colour, so green actually isn't salt and vinegar. I think, anyway. Pop it in the comment section down below. Hmm, I mean, look at that one. Look at that. Look at that. Ha! Hmm. You know, they've even got picnic tables here, look, so you can uh, come and have a family day out, charge your car, um, and have a picnic while your car's charging. It's fantastic, a little uh, children's playground over there as well. So, uh, I mean, you've only got 45 minutes, but uh, that's, that's long enough for a picnic and your car to charge sort of like 20 or 30%, isn't it? It's not too bad. Right, so it's 52% charged, so I'm going to leave it now and then get back in the car and get down to Ionity. Uh, lovely couple there having a picnic in the car. Uh, it's raining otherwise they'd probably be out here. Anyway, so um, I'm going to un unplug it, get to Ionity, and then that's a lot faster. This one's really slow, uh, and if, you've, if you want a picnic, I guess you've got time. But I, I'm in a race against Jeff, so let's get it unplugged. No time to waste. Derek and Mildred, that is in that car over there. Definitely Derek and Mildred, and they're off to a swingers party later. Shh. Right, £15.88. Let's get back in the car and get on the road. It's raining. Come on. Right, okay. I have to say, I do find it really amusing that people who charge up, I mean, I, I've got an electric car, but couples. They go out, they sit there with a the little picnic and the little sandwiches and the flask. I mean, I'm going to give them hats off for taking a flask because then you don't have to keep buying coffee, etc. But what's it all? <laughs> what's it all about? What's it all about, Derek? Right. Okay. So to get to Ionity, we've got 69 miles to get there. 125 miles of range and 53 percent of battery so let's get to ionity uh get charged up there fully and then we may only have to have one more stop along the way to get to uh kendall but this is all adding time on it and i know i can hear people saying already should have got a tesla long range tesla it's still not long enough is it it's just still not long enough. And again, you're still going to experience all the uh, issues. I'm red there from his brake lights. Right, come on. Onwards, my friends. Right, now this is actually where electric cars come in because this will whiz out quickly. I can't see very well. It's terrible view in this car. <laughs> because of the batteries I'm getting underneath the back window, can't see a great deal. Come on. Right. Come on, one, two, three, four, five cars. My neck's killing me. Come on. Ready. We can do this. Here we go and go. And uh, we're at 60, there we go. Right, onwards my friends. So, I don't know whether I told you the time there. So 3.20, so uh, air conditioning, let's put that back on, because I'm steaming up. Uh, that's took us down to 116 miles of range now, um, which should get us to Ionity, which will get us to Ionity, because it's only 67 miles there. Um, that's now, since we're 20 past three, 
that's wasted and took added quite a little bit onto the trip and also your cost of your coffee as well uh, to go for a wee uh, unless you like uh, Derek and Mildred there who take their own little picnic it was oh it was, it was cute I've got in fact I've got to ring Jeff I'll have to ring Jeff and tell him about this it's you, you see him there and the little ionics and the little leaves and she's there in the passenger seat with a little neck scarf on blue eyeliner and uh, <laughs> I don't know where I get all this from and she's getting out the sandwiches for him and passing them over you know and they've cut them in triangles <laughs> got a ring jab right okay can't get through to Jeff bad signal uh, lots of mountains around however uh, there is now an accident apparently up ahead which is going to create a 20 minute delay um, so that wasn't there earlier on so that's obviously happened whilst I've been charging up which is a shame because I would have been ahead of it or hope well I could have been in it I guess so could have saved me um, so now we've got 62 miles to Ionity uh, an hour and 26 minutes and 4.53 arrival. Roughly at the moment, we're looking at 10 to 8 to get to uh, Kendall. So, uh, with Ionity, I'm guessing that's going to add half an hour, 40 minutes max. Now, will that then, will I need to charge again? I'm going to have to charge for the morning, ready for the journey to Land's End, but am I going to have to charge again? Because what I could do is, if I can get to Kendall, then I can get up early in the morning before Jeff gets up, charge up the car, and then I'm ready to go. Um, unless there's a charger at the hotel, which I don't think there is, because it's a day's in, so I doubt it. Anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. What beautiful scenery you have here in uh, Scotland. You just need a few more mobile phone transmitters and more chargers. The signpost right there. Them signs. Who, who thinks of them? Stress can cost lives. Fancy telling you that. Fancy saying that to an EV driver. Stress can cost lives. Huh? Oh, where's the next charge point? Oh, I'm getting anxiety. I'm getting anxious. Stress can cost lives. <sighs> hmm. Actually, no, stop right there, because I am on the side of the evangelist at the moment. I'm on the Team EV, so stress can cost lives. There's no stress here inside this quiet cabin with no engine noise. And look at uh, Derek and uh, Mildred back there, sat back, enjoying their picnic, whiling the way, uh, at the hours away, having their Triangular cut, uh, and when I say triangular, I don't just mean one square sandwich cut in a diet. I mean properly cut twice into little triangles and uh, eating them daintily. Yes, no stress there at all. Uh, and I think you'll find uh, this is not the kind of journey that uh, anyone would really do. So it doesn't really count because who would drive from John O'Groats to Land's End in an EV or any car uh, for that means? Uh, they wouldn't do that. I think you'll find that 70% of people um, charge at home. And uh, people like myself driving the Taycan, I think you'll find I got the wrong car because I should have got a, a Tesla. Told you, Team EV. I'm Team EV today. Team EV. Right, so we've got an accident. I've got another nosebleed. <laughs> Obviously the stress uh, of trying to get there and charge. 
Um, I don't know what's going on here. That's three, three nosebleeds. There we go. Not normally, uh, I don't normally have them. Right, anyway, so uh, a little bit of an accident here with the police. Uh, and then we'll get on our way again. I don't know what's happened there. Looks like a van or something has gone off the road. Let's have a look. I shall tell you. Oh, oh my word. Yes, a van has had a smash. Oh dear. Here we go. Right. Okay. Wow. Highway maintenance van's had a smash. Oh dear. Head on collision with a Suzuki. That is not good. It looks like it was turning. That's bad. Wow. Okay. Hope everyone's all right. Onwards, my friends. Literally, my nose, I've just got Jeff on the phone here, I'm just telling you, my nose is just streaming with blood. I don't know what's going on. I don't know whether it's the heights of Scotland with the pressure or the pressure of trying to find the charge point. Um, it, it, it's, it's not, not good. I've got blood all over my seatbelt, all over my top. Uh, so I'm going to have to go and clean up. Are you there? EE. You need, you're on EE. I've got three. I've got, I've got two bars. Right. Are you there? I've got, yeah, four bars. I make a call. Are you? Sound like Norman Collier. Uh, on the show, it's really wonderful to be here. The gentleman, please. Hello, it's just uh, evening up on call. Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm, I'm going to try and ring him again. But uh, uh, we've got, I don't know whether you can hear I don't think you can hear me. We've got, uh, it's six minutes past four. 30, I, can't hear you. I, can hear you. Yeah, I can't hear you very well. I'm just saying I've got 38%, 81 miles of range, uh, 33 miles to go before I can get to uh, Ionity uh, and clean myself up because I've got, <laughs> my nose keeps bleeding. Uh, and then... I can get almost all the way to Kendall, but I'm going to have to charge again, so... Don't make me look a f old s*** up here. Make people of America make me look a f I can't... I, I can't... I can't hear you. Anyway, onwards, my friends. Right, so uh, we've got an accident ahead and a delay now. So uh, that's going to add time onto us. And so it's going to be 27 miles before we get to Ionity. 5.13 arrival, that's saying, but it's going to go up by the minute because obviously there's an accident ahead and there's an ambulance. So that's not a good sight. That's not, uh, not good at all. Um, we have 72 miles of range though and 33% of battery left. So... Um, all we can do is sit it out. At least we did a little um, vault and bolt earlier on, so there's no no worries of uh, not having any charge when we get there. All relaxed in my uh, silent cabin here. Anyway, I'll turn the radio up, listen to a bit of 80s music and uh, just chill out a bit. Not a lot we can do. Jeff's ahead though and missed all this, so he's now gaining time, which is not good. Means he's going to be there having a beer, no doubt, but... What can you do? I'm trying my best. I'm sneaking ahead here in the outside lane and you can see them in the inside lane. You get back there at the back of the queue, but apparently you are supposed to use both lanes when it's like this. It eases the traffic jam. Uh, so I've been told anyway, or so I've heard, probably get corrected in the comment section. Lots of people doing it. Now, this is the embarrassing bit. 
where you've got to squeeze back in again and pop your indicator on and gently squeeze in and go, oh, thank you very much. Uh, and people going, not letting him in, not letting him in, don't let him in, don't let him in, Rita. Don't let him in, he's pushed in. He can wait his turn, get back there. <laughs> Although they might feel sorry for me being an EV and let me in. Right, well, this always, it's rerouting me and this always makes me a little bit nervous because Waze normally takes me on roads that are absolutely tiny roads where this car is too wide for it. So I'm hoping it's not going to do that. Should be a scenic route though, so uh, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, we're in the, we're in the hilly, hilly side of Scotland. Right, 40 miles an hour speed limit, no, but, but there'll be no doubt speed cameras, so we'll stick to the speed limit here. Uh, right, here we go. Hmm, mountains, mountains and uh, more mountains. Oh, and a nice little village. Right, what do these people do in these villages? Do you have Chinese takeaways? Do you have fish and chip shops? Let's have a look. I told you, Waze has a habit of taking you down B roads. Uh, and this one apparently says, road closed due to flooding. Yet it's brought me this way, but there's a load of other traffic there as well. Uh, so I'm hoping it's not flooded uh, because electric cars and water do not bode well together. So uh, fingers crossed, it's very wet, I have to say. Oh, well. <sighs> Fingers crossed, traffic seems to be going. At least I've got the people ahead of me uh, to test the way forward. Right, so we've got Jeff Byers cars on the line here. He's actually stuck in the traffic. Oh my word, uh, we're going through the flood here. Uh, you're stuck in the, the jam, whoa, lots of water. Uh, I'm actually taking the B road, which you probably, had, well, it probably wasn't my brightest idea. Oh my word, lots of water up ahead. Uh, so, I may overtake you, or I may just burst into flames, Jeff. Am I likely to see you floating down one of these rivers that I'm driving over? Yes, there's lots of water, okay. very narrow road. Uh, and I'm glad I'm not doing this at night because it would be a little scary. So uh, you're stuck in traffic. So this, fingers crossed, if I don't get washed away in the river into a lock, I may overtake you. I'm amazed how much you've caught up actually. Um, I have moved maybe three miles in an hour. Wow, okay. So, what made you not take the B road? Probably common sense, Jeff. You know where there was that sign that says road closed flood, yeah? Yes. And you know that I have that Range Rover and I put those videos on YouTube of all those floods? Yes. That. <laughs> well, I might get, you might see a Porsche Taycan rolling, just floating down the river in a minute, because it is, it's, yep. Torrential. You'll be, in, you'll, be in, you'll be in the Sun newspaper again. Idiot in electric car ignores code road sign and floats down river. Yes, exactly. I don't like this at all. This is not nice. Right, viewers, leave me with Jeff. I'm going to have a chat with him. I also need a wee. Um, this is not a, this is not my brightest idea. And I can see a lake at the side of me and a river, which I might be in in a minute. Oh my word, the water. Right, onwards, my friends. Oh, goodness gracious, this is not ideal. 
Right, okay, here we go. There's rivers and waterfalls coming down the side. I've got to tell you, this has not been my best idea. Everywhere is flooded. It's, the fields are just full of water. Um, oh my word. This is making my stomach turn a little bit. Here we go. I really need a wee, but I don't want to stop because I want these guys ahead of me so that they can pave the way for me through all this water and all these floods. This is absolutely insane. Oh, geez, this is bad. Okay, got to keep going, got to keep going. Got to keep going. Oh, my word. Right, keep going, keep going. Watch out. Road works from the road. There's water coming from the side. There's... This is insane. Right, so I'm now back on the uh, the A road, uh, and I've got Jeff online here. It's not actually an accident. Uh, if you're watching the Highways Agency of Scotland, shame on you for closing the main road into Scotland because all this is down to roadworks. So get off your lazy backsides and get it finished because this is causing accidents, tailbacks, and it's absolute insanity. So. I did, is there any workmen there, Jeff, or are they just off today? No, there's a sign that said drying concrete. I'm going to go further than you. I'm going to say, people in Scotland, <laughs> your government hates you. You <laughs> cannot do that to people. You cannot block arterial route into an entire country. <laughs> it's insane. I am livid. I am livid. It is. Well, I think I've gained. Uh, what I've lost on you a little bit because going down through them floods. Um, so I've gained a little bit, but I'm going to lose again because I need to charge at Ionity. So uh, anyway, yeah, look at the roadworks. There has to be at least eight to 10 miles of traffic that I'm going past, right? Absolutely insane. If your government think that that, if your highways agency think that that is acceptable to close off a road like that, that's ridiculous. 
absolutely ridiculous what a time to do it absolute madness it's just constant right well it's gained me about an hour on jeff by me going down the road that was closed because of the floods uh, that i managed to get through that was not uh, my greatest idea but it worked out um so i've gained time on jeff there uh, i need to charge up now he needs something to eat so it's gonna be i'm doing my best i'm doing my best for the evangelists come on onwards Right, this is not boding well because it looks like there's a backup for all the chargers. So looks like they're all in use from, from what I can see from the road. And, uh, and it looks like people are waiting as well. <laughs> right, this is absolutely insane. They're all taken up and there's, <laughs> there's cars waiting. I'm gonna go to the loo and then see what else I can do. This is just, this is the reality. I'm trying my best, but you can, you can plan your journey, but you can't, can you? Because of these, it's, oh, should've got a Tesla. Right, okay, so here we go. So, Ionity, they're all taken up. And then we've got, oh, there's another one coming in now, uh, waiting for it. So we've actually got cars waiting over here. It's just absolute madness. Right, so it looks like there's gonna be an hour's wait before I can get on a charger. That's an hour and 45 minutes on my time. And this all adds up. It's, it's not feasible at the moment. Right, it's getting a little bit dark, so, um, I'm just going to go to Porsche now, try and charge up there because uh, maybe not a lot of people know that there's charging points there so it might not be as popular as Ionity. So let's get to Porsche, try there uh, and then you're not going to see a great deal after that because it's going to get, it's getting dark as you can see. But evangelists, answer me this question. Right, I've planned my journey. I knew I wanted to charge up there, right? So, and don't say, well, not many people will take this journey because some people might. Now, oh, it's just absolute madness there. Um, I've planned my journey. So how do you figure that electric cars are actually gonna work? I'm trying my damnedest to make this work. Right, let's get to Porsche. Right, fingers crossed that the Porsche chargers are not being used. Right, we're in luck, so let's get this charged up. This is gonna cost me more, but at least we'll be back on the road again. Now, I've gotta, I can't film this bit because my microphone is getting wet through, so I'll see you in a minute. Right, okay, <clears throat> it is 20 to six now, 16% uh, charged. Uh, what do we got? Right, we're at 16% charged anyway, and it's 20 to six, so. I'm going to get in Costa over there, do a little bit of work and see how long, uh, how long it takes. Hopefully not too long because these are really, really fast chargers. So, uh, right. Anyway, let's get in Costa and I'm, I'll see you in a minute. Right. Well, it's five past six. There's a lot of smoke coming out of the car again, 80% charged. I need a hundred percent. So I'm going to have to wait. There is a beautiful 911. Oh, that stinks of smoke. Uh, beautiful 911 uh, come out there. Sounded gorgeous. Oh, one day, 
one day. Right, it is finished. It's come to 42 pounds and 23 pence uh, for 70.9 kilowatts. Charging time, 46 minutes, 54, where well, it's 100%. So let's get back on the road. Let's get this unplugged, plugged in, and let's get over to Kendall. Not gonna say a lot on the way really, because it is dark and I just want to get there. Jeff's gonna be well ahead of me now. So come on, onwards. Right, okay, so 203 miles of range, 178 miles to go to Kendall at uh, 97% of battery now. So uh, let's get to a move on and try and get there without charging up again. It's close. This is absolute madness. It's torrential rain. I can hardly see the car in front of me. I'm having to go really slow now. It, this is, I need some of that rain X, I think, on my windscreen. It's mad. The weather is unbelievable up here. Right, almost there now. Uh, so, the hotel that Jeff has chosen uh, is basically a service station. Um, he's there already. Uh, he's called me. Um, he's been there about an hour now. Uh, so, um, and he's waiting for me so I can go and get something to eat. I've got 18% of battery left. Um, I've got 36 miles left of range. Um, I've got uh, 12 miles left to get to my destination to the service station hotel, uh, which apparently is rubbish, so Jeff says. And it's now quarter past nine at night, uh, and I should get there at uh, 9.27. So uh, there we go. Um, anyway, rather tired. We'll sum things up when we get there. At least there's a charger though. There's a charger there, so we're, we're good. Right, okay, so, arrived at Days Inn, uh, yes, Jeff has picked rather a naff place, but at least it's a place to lay our head. Anyway, don't go anywhere because I've got 26 miles of range, 13% battery, there's a charging point here, uh, but first of all, we're gonna sum this video up uh, and also uh, go for something to eat. So we're, I'm gonna switch this milk float off and we'll go and find Jeff. Right, we're going to be quiet. Shh, shh, people are in bed. Right. In this five-star five hotel that you chose. It's five-star, yeah. Five-star days in. Room service and a breakfast. Have we got breakfast? No. No, no There's breakfast. There's no food. It's know. like a prison cell, isn't it? It's very much like prison. <laughs> yeah, you chose this one. <laughs> this is... it's, it's, it's a tad, it's marginally better than the one I chose at uh, Johnny Groats, I'd say. Although, well, did you get breakfast with that? Yeah, we did, yeah. Now, this is, this is genuinely... Up. I feel I feel like um, yeah, I'm in prison. <laughs> anyway, anyway, this is the end of the video. Now, tomorrow's leg of the journey, we go from here in Kendall, yeah, down all the way, non-stop to Land's End. We're not messing tomorrow. I mean, today was a not messing day, but we're particularly not messing tomorrow. I gained an hour on you yeah. going down that flooded road, which was a nightmare, by the way, which you saw. Yeah, um, but you gained it back because I had to charge. Yeah. Now, as you saw, the chargers at, um, what was it, to, to Ionity mm. were full and backed up. So I went to Porsche, which cost me almost 50 quid. Um, for 217 miles. Yeah, for 217 miles, which is insane. I don't know what grid serve was at the moment because that hasn't come through. Yeah. So we don't know exactly what grid serve is. Grid serve's here, so we've got to charge again, which I won't know the cost of whether it's 60 something pence a kilowatt or whatever. Yeah. 
So... It's looking to be quite an expensive trip for you so far, though, isn't it? It is, but just to appease the evangelist there... Go on. I really have tried my I know, best. I know you have. <laughs> Hand on heart, I have tried my best for the evening. Even I have been, like, willing you along, and you'll see when you watch my video, I'm like, I really hope he manages to find a charge. I mean, I thought I was going to get washed into the river at one point. <laughs> I just thought, I'm thinking this is not a good idea. Police notice, road closed. But just, just on that one, you know, the, the idyllic picture that people have of driving John O'Groats to Land's End and the idyllic picture of Scottish roads and Scottish scenery we saw nothing of it did we no it was it's actually we can joke about it it was a crap day <laughs> it's been a crap day from start to finish <laughs> and now we're in a crap hotel <laughs> but tomorrow we're excited because it's motorway yeah and I'm, I'm playing in front of the home team tomorrow we're on the m5 we're going to cornwall that's that's like me playing at home. Can we? Um, can can you make me a promise? <laughs> Go on. Tomorrow night when we get to Cornwall, we have a nice hotel and we can just have some pints of beer. Yeah, that's absolutely a promise. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll sort us a hotel. I'll make up for this one. So so far, it's a win for the diesel. <laughs> it is a win for the diesel. We, we, we didn't. Which car did we go for dinner in? Uh, that was the that was the diesel. That was the diesel because mine's it? run out of charge and I'm charging it in the morning. Yeah, that's right. You, so I, I I lose some range because we had to go for dinner in Kendall. But you did say, well, just leave it on charging. I mean, I just can't do that because somebody might want to charge it. That would be rude. You say you can't. That's do a that. good point. You've got to be a good evangelist. So now I've got to get up early in the morning, yeah. get a coffee, and then go and charge it. And somebody's knocking on the wall. Are they? Yeah. They, really? they are, yeah. I think it's because the walls are like paper. So. I thought that was them out there. I don't know. Well, they should build a better hotel. Yeah. No, they should just knock it down. They should just knock it down. <laughs> so, make sure you like and subscribe. Subscribe to this guy. Watch his journey as well. Uh, and uh, and onwards to uh, Land's End. We'll see you in the morning. Can I just say, um, this shirt is from Joe Brands. Other brands are available, but I recommend this one also. Terry's chocolate oranges are available from, but they may have some superficial damage. Always read the label. And on that one, Sean. <laughs> Alan Partridge. Is it Alan Partridge reference? Yeah. Yeah, like uh, breakwater. I always feel like if you're doing a, a product promo, you have to do it in the style of Alan Partridge. <laughs> My arm's aching now, <laughs> so I'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye. <laughs>